Hi there, I am Sophia from Mini Orange. In this video, I will show you how you can use the Mini Orange Identity Brokering solution to enable SSO for any application when the users are spread across multiple identity sources. Before we move into the setup of the solution, let's quickly discuss what is the need for identity brokering and why organizations prefer to implement it to enable SSO for all their users. SSO allows users to log in into multiple applications using a single login credential. Generally, all these identities are considered to be stored in a single place, like directories, identity providers, or databases. This is an ideal case of implementing an SSO, but it is rarely the case with enterprises. In enterprises, user identities are generally spread across various directories or identity providers, and in the majority of cases, each of these supports a different SSO protocol. Enabling SSO for them, using the traditional implementation, can be a challenging task, and hence in such cases, SSO is implemented, using identity brokering solutions. Thus identity brokering solution enables you to connect an application and an identity provider that may support different protocols and you no longer need to be concerned about cross-protocol support. Using an identity brokering solution, multiple identity providers or identity sources can be configured to enable SSO into single or multiple applications, irrespective of the SSO protocol supported by the application or the configured identity sources. The identity brokering solution acts as an intermediate between the applications and the identity source, brokering the SSO protocol between the two, allowing a seamless login experience for end users. Now let's see additional features offered by Mini Orange Brokering Service. First let's see, Login via Domain Mapping. Mini Orange provides login via domain mapping feature when you have multiple IDPs and you want a certain set of users to authenticate from one IDP, whereas another set of users to authenticate from another IDP based on their email domains. Here the user is not provided with a choice, but rather is intrinsically authenticated from the associated source. Admin needs to provide a domain in the domain mapping field under each IDP. So the users logging with any domain will be redirected to the specific organization their domain is under for authentication. Now let's see, login using the IDP selection page. This functionality of the Mini Orange Identity Broker service allows you to configure authentication for an application using multiple external identity providers. For example, you could have a SAML application that needs SSO, but your users' identities are distributed among different identity providers, like Okta and Active Directory. When the user tries to log into the SAML application, the Mini Orange Identity Broker service allows your user to select one IDP from a list of identity providers that suits them or under which their identity is stored. Now let's see, login via app identity provider mapping. Mini Orange provides login via app identity provider mapping feature when you have multiple identity providers and you want a certain application users to authenticate with one IDP and other application users with another IDP. In that case, you can achieve this by using the Select Primary Identity Provider feature. With this feature, you can configure a particular identity source for your selected application and the users of your selected application would be able to authenticate only by the selected identity provider. To enjoy a seamless authentication experience and delegate all single sign-on requirements with a click of a button, please feel free to reach out to us by email or in the comment section below and we will get back to you at the earliest.